Hello from Patina Farm. I get a lot of requests for tours of different parts of our house, so I thought it would be fun to kind of see this tiny little corner of our house. It's a small area, but it really has some special design elements that I think you'll enjoy. The first one is this little door. I call it the little door because it's about my height. I'm about five foot three, so you can see how tall that this door really is. Um, it's about it's, a, it's from about the 1600s, and what we loved was all this great hardware, and also the fact that it kind of gives you a false perspective of the of this hallway being a lot longer because it's so short. Uh, but it's got some beautiful detailing and it's a um, really lovely kind of dry oak finish and um, it's one of my favorite doors in our house. And so next to our door we have this stairway that goes up to our uh, second level of the tower in our house. You can see that uh, <laughs> Sophie and Sarah are a little bored right now. They're, they're not gonna be bored for very long. We're actually getting a new little addition, aren't we, to you guys? A little boy maybe uh, coming, little boy dog. It's gonna rock their world. But anyway, so we used uh, old scaffolding planks as the stair, the stairs in this uh, stairway. And the funny thing about these books, there's a little funny story. When we were first moving in, Steve wasn't around and I was moving all these boxes and boxes of books and, and I got so exhausted that I just started shoving them into into this area and we ended up kind of liking the way it looked so we left it that way it's kind of our homage to uh harry potter it looks very hogwarts ish so that's this area and then if you walk here you can see that we have this kind of indoor outdoor space it feels very very connected to the garden this is our front yard garden with all the Ollie balls and these enormous cypress, which weren't that big when we first planted them, but in seven years they have just gotten huge. Um, but we, we really love this area because of the kind of connection and it really feels like it's outside because of these sheets of glass. And you can see that we use the limestone here so that kind of gives it um, that feel of being outside. We always tell ourselves stories when designing our homes and the story with this area in our house was that at one point it was outside, which of course it never was, but we designed it to feel as if it was. And then um, to, to kind of blur that line between indoors and outdoors, we've included some boxwood and this uh, charming little grapefruit tree and also these wood, uh, vintage French wood mushrooms, which uh, kind of feel to me like Alice in Wonderland because they're so much bigger than mushrooms really should be. And then when you turn the corner, we have this piece, which we found at a flea market, oh gosh, probably about 15 years ago. This was in our Santa Monica house as well. And we just loved the colors. It, um, it was originally from Nancy in France, and my guess is it was in, you know, in a fairly prominent uh, tower, but uh, you can see how it was falling apart. You know, of course, that's the part I love, but pro probably they felt it needed to be replaced. But um, so we got lucky. We got this one, and they probably got some, you know, less attractive new one. But uh, I love the colors, the kind of uh, sages and the salmon uh, pink, just really beautiful. So anyway, that's this little corner of our house. I hope you enjoyed the, the tour. I also wanted to mention that this Friday we will be doing a, um, a talk with Charlie that will be live at 2 p.m. Pacific time this uh, this Sunday. We're going to talk about our clothing. Um, as many of you know, Charlie makes clothing in Los Angeles. He um, We design our clothing pieces together. This is one of our new pieces. This is our linen skirt in the silver. It has this 
great detailing in the back with the buttons and the tie, which uh, allows it to kind of vary in size. And then I always love the the kind of detail with um, with the kind of rough edge, and just kind of adds that little patina style detail. And of course, the pockets. I love pockets. So, um, but anyway, Charlie and I will be chatting about clothing design and how he got started doing it and how we design things together and why uh, I decided to design clothing and all that. It should be fun. So I hope you'll join us then. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Goodbye from Patina Farm.